friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. I just got a comment earlier today that says, why does she always have an accent in the beginning of her video but not the rest of it? And I guess I kind of do, but I never noticed it or thought about it. To be honest, I slip in and out of my Texas accent a lot and I just don't realize it a lot of the time because I've worked so hard to have a neutral American accent for such a long time that sometimes I don't realize when I'm slipping in and out of it. <laughs> but it is Friday morning. I did a little workout, showered, got ready. I really need to pick up the house, kind of picked it up. I fake made my bed, look. <laughs> I have some fun things planned for us today. Namely, I stopped by my P.O. box and I got a lot of mail from y'all and I know we just did a big mail time video recently So I'm not gonna like set those aside for another mail time video because I don't want to fatigue y'all with mail time videos So we're gonna open those. I think there's like maybe seven ish packages So it should be pretty quick and just like hang out and chat I have a lot to catch y'all up on and talk about and um, as you probably know I'm filming this on December 4th and California is getting more and more strict with shutdowns right now So not a lot we can do not a lot we should do kind of just laying low so this is probably going to be a very chatty realistic vlog hope that's okay i think it's good to kind of switch up the content a little bit i say let's open let's open those things i'll go get them we could take it into the den we can open it together okay so we have one two three four five six seven packages and a note let's see what everything is one smells so good and it is one that i know what it is this one is actually sent to brooke and i he's working but i'm gonna open it without him and i know what this is because it's from one of brooke's friends i don't know them personally but they are on our fridge here let me show you actually so here's my family i'll, just, I'll flip you all around this was my family's christmas card picture last year obviously because that was from our wedding my sister Jacqueline, my parents. So that's the only other thing on our fridge. And them, Chris, Taylor, and Zuri is their baby's name. And Zuri's such a cute name. So it's their company. That's what we're about to open together. And they have a coffee company and we've ordered some of their coffee before. It's so good. Brooke really likes their cold brew coffee. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Their website is the wanderercoffeehouse.com. This is donut shop coffee. Well-balanced house blend. Not gonna lie to you. I'm a Folgers girl, but I'm trying to be more intentional with how I spend my money. And we're all, you know, not perfect. And there's some things that you're gonna have to buy from big companies, but when possible, I'm trying to support more smaller businesses because like that precious family, their life is so affected by the people that purchase their coffee. Like it is their livelihood. So I'm gonna link them down below. I'm gonna link them down first and highly encourage if you're a coffee drinker, which 95% of our population is to uh, check them out, place an order, such a good Christmas gift. Too. Oh, this smells so good. I'm very happy about that. Next, we got a couple of Christmas looking gifts. Oh, this might be a subscription box. If they're subscription boxes, I'm always torn if like we should peek or if I should set them aside for the next massive subscription box unboxing. I have one that I filmed this week that I think is coming out after this vlog. So I'm not gonna film another one until the new year for sure. Oh, okay, we can peek inside this. This is Chic Beauty Box and I actually did include it in the most recent one. So um, I try to not really do duplicates of boxes unless I really, really like the box or if it's been a while. So I won't do a duplicate of this one since we just did it. They had some really good makeup in the one I opened. Oh my gosh, and they do again. What the heck? Okay, we have off tropic looks like an eyeshadow palette Ooh, some fun bold colors ysl saint laurent i don't know how to say the first word they're pretty fancy aren't they this looks like a lipstick i'm not really a lipstick person i'm a um, vaseline person <laughs> oh it's like a lip gloss stick that's the color of that kind of is fun getting like a makeup box i don't often get makeup i'm not like a huge makeup person so it's fun every once in a while this is a brush dang it i can't take it out of the package without permanently taking it out of the package i try to not like open makeup to where it can't be given away to people since i don't use a ton of makeup i put it into giveaway piles for you guys looks almost like a contoured makeup brush you see how it has that little shape to it a bare minerals eyeliner and something big i don't know what this is neo setting powder by kevin ahoin ahoin let's see what is this it's in a, like a velvet package Ooh, wow it's called a setting powder but it looks like a highlighter can you see the like shimmer to it i have never heard of this but that seems really fancy okay this looks like it might be for one of you guys maybe oh bath bomb and body yes this is from one of you guys it's one of your companies very excited i might have a promo code for this and if so i'll, I'll look it up and i'll link it down below what look at how pretty it's like a little gift ready to go oh my word and it smells 
great. I don't know what is in it. It says handmade for you. It looks like there's some exciting stuff in here. Okay, let's see what this says. Oh, oh my gosh. Can't believe you're going to see this. Started this Etsy shop a couple months ago into quarantine to help with my income. I have been making them as a hobby for years and I've always loved it. I stumbled upon your channel a couple years ago and I've loved it ever since. That's so sweet. Thank you, Vicky. She included some stickers and her website is etsy.com slash shop slash bath bomb and body. I'll save this. Use code bath bomb and body 30 for 30% 30 off your purchase. Oh my gosh. Look at how intricate these are. This is that game everybody's playing and I haven't played it yet. Donut? I cannot believe she makes these by hand. Some lips. Looks like a little drink, like almost like a frappuccino. Some bath salts. Oh my word. She's so talented and artistic to make these so beautifully. Like it's so detailed. They're like painted. That's so impressive. Bath bomb and body. Let's see what this is. This is from someone named Anna. This is a subscriber that has a little Etsy boutique with her sister called Southern Sis Boutiques. And she said she watched a skincare video of mine recently where I said I didn't have any cute headbands to like wash my face with. And so she wanted to send me some. Oh my my word, that is so stinking cute. It's like crisscrossed. Oh, I love that. Oh, and look at these little hair scrunchies. Wow. Wow, I've never seen a knitted hair scrunchie before. That is so stinking cute. Southern Sis Boutiques on Etsy. Oh my word, guys. This looks like a note. If it's personal, I won't read it out loud. Oh, it's a Christmas card. It says, enjoy your channel. Wishing you a happy new year. That's so sweet. <laughs> guys. I love y'all. Okay. These last things. Okay. I actually, I think this is a subscription box. These last things seem from companies. I get so much more excited when it's from you guys than from a company or like from your small shop. I think this is a subscription box. Yeah. Luxley beauty box. I'm going to set this aside in case it comes in handy for our next subscription box unboxing. Base blue, base blue. Where have I heard of that? The wonder begins. What is this? Ooh, look at this box. Oh, there's a note. How wishing you a wonderful holiday season. Is it PR? What is it? So cute. It's a little ornament that looks like a snow globe, but I think that the snowman in here is a beauty blender. That's so thoughtful. Oh, I think they sent me some of their makeup brushes once upon a time. Yeah, it is. It's a little snowman made out of a beauty blender. That is so cute. I'm going to put that on my little makeup desk. One more thing. Adorama. Adorama. Uh oh, Max woke up and realized all the trash I made. Here comes chaos. I don't know what this is. What the heck? I'm so confused. Wait, uh oh, oh no. Have you ever heard of adorama.com? I feel so bad. I made a mistake, but I was just confused. Okay. I'll explain this to you. I ordered a hard drive from Target, and this is a Lussie, I don't even know if that's how you say it, Lacy Lussie, rugged mini hard drive. And these things are not cheap. This was definitely over $100. I don't remember exactly how much it was. They range depending on the terabytes. This is a two terabyte from Target back in October. And they told me it delivered. And I was like, I never got it. I tried to like file a request saying like, hey, I don't see it anywhere. I don't think I got, I never got a Target package. And then they were like, this is beyond our control. You're gonna have to call the like corporate people, I guess, cause it's like too big of a purchase. So then I was on the phone with the corporate people and they were super duper nice. And I was like, I've searched everywhere. I've searched my mail room. I've searched the mailboxes, the front door, my front door. Like I don't see a package from Target anywhere. And they're like, okay, we're gonna go ahead and issue you a refund, but this is it. And I guess I've had it all along, but it was shipped in this. And I get so many packages just sent to me that I thought that this was from a random company. What do I do? How do I contact Target and say, actually guys, I now owe you like a hundred dollars. What do I do? <laughs> this is not good for someone that has a very strong conscience. <laughs> Ugh, I'm gonna Google this brand. And I just reordered another one from Best Buy. And I actually think it's getting here today. Shoot. It's like its own tech website. How did I order something from Target, but it came from a whole different website? I am so confused. Please, I need advice. What do I do and how did this happen? I feel terrible. I feel so bad. Did I just steal something? Am I a thief? Hmm. Oh, also got some comments about this sad monstera. All of my plants are slowly dying. This apartment's killing all my plants. It gets no sunlight in this room. It's very, very sad. I cannot wait to move. We're gonna start looking at houses in January and I like officially, I just cannot wait. 
I cannot wait. <sighs> Sorry that I am a thief, but thank you to all of y'all who sent me things. You're so sweet. I love you so much. I will link everything that I can down below. So what I'm going to do is I'm filming a bonus video. I'm actually filming quite a few bonus videos, but I can't decide if I want to film one of them today or two of them today. I would either film one and edit it or film two and then save them to edit. I'm going to do my Christmas wish list because that was very highly requested. I wanted to show you how I get my decent lighting in this very dark apartment. I also got to let Max out just a second. I have one very crappy ring light that I got off Amazon for very cheap. And then I take this floor lamp and I tilt it to where I get a little bit of like indirect light. So it's not all cool light, but some warm light as well. And then I'm gonna set my camera kind of in the middle of this warm up the color. I'm gonna turn on the fireplace in the background and film a video sitting down here since it's Christmas themed, have a very Christmassy backdrop. But see that lighting's a lot better than usual, isn't it? <laughs> things I gotta do, man, the things I gotta do. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. I filmed two videos just now and they were each quick little sit down videos. So I might have time to edit one of them before doing all the other stuff that I need to do today. Trying to push out those bonus videos since I'm not doing Vlogmas, but I explained in a little chatty get ready with me why YouTube push out extra videos during December. It's because we're preparing, we're like gathering our acorns to survive January. Ad rates are really good in December and in January ad rates plummet. So YouTubers push out extra work in December and then, then it's okay if in January they don't make much money. Oh, and actually because of that, something I wanna tell you guys, let me set you up here. I am gonna be taking a break, <laughs> who am I? That's why I'm pushing out extra videos right now too. Since ad rates plummet so much in January, actually starting December 25th, there's really no reason to like stress out so much about putting out videos right then because you're basically being paid a small fraction of what you normally get paid per video for the same amount of work. So I decided that I am, obviously I film pretty far in advance. So I'm actually currently on December 4th filmed all the way up until almost Christmas minus some bonus videos. I think I have three videos left um, and then some maybe bonus videos until I'm done completely up until Christmas. So my plan is I'm actually going to take off from December 18th through the first week of January and not film anything just take off some time so i haven't booked any sponsorships from christmas day until january 7th just because i don't want pressure on myself to be forced to put out content i'll probably start putting out some videos the end of the first week of january like the fifth sixth give or take but i'm going to take the holidays just to decompress to relax to hang out to read to just take some time off because i have been working really 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 hard to crank out videos in december and to justify taking time off in January. So I'm really thankful to be able to be in a position and in a career to where I can take control of my own schedule. And I know most people take off Christmas anyways, so I don't know why I feel like this is such a big deal to take off Christmas, but I haven't taken off YouTube since. <laughs> A few years now because it's always been my side thing never my main thing and now that it's my main thing i'm obviously putting like 60 70 hours a week into it and it's a little bit more important for me to make sure i don't get burned out so i'm really excited so there will probably be one to two weeks from your point of view where you won't see any videos coming out but i am actually going to be taking a little bit longer than that off maybe about two weeks off I need to look at my calendar so and we're also batch filming or batch recording our podcasts to take off that time as well just really excited to take a break i know it's going to be good for my creativity, for my work ethic, for my heart, for my soul, for my brain, to make sure I don't get burned out. It's just going to be good. So I'm excited. So I wanted to warn you about that. So hopefully too, if you're watching this in January, you can go back and watch all these bonus videos I'm putting out to make up for the videos I don't put out between December 25th and onward. Speaking of stress and time off, lighting change. I told y'all this is going to be a chatty vlog. I, as you know, have been working really hard to try to reduce my stress because my doctor thinks a lot of my health issues are triggered from stress. So I've taken some practical steps like stepping away from acting and I've tried a ton of different things from listening to like meditations, which I don't like my brain is far too restless for that, which I know just means I need it more, but I've tried more calming exercises like yoga. Everything's like, okay, but it doesn't really help. And I've been kind of hesitant to talk about this. This vlog's not sponsored by anybody way, shape or form, just because I don't know the public perception on CBD, but I think public awareness 
it's to the point where people know the difference between CBD and marijuana and they know that CBD does not have THC and so it doesn't affect your mind at all but it can have different effects on your body. But I've actually been trying a ton of CBD things for stress and I wouldn't say I have anxiety but I definitely have moments of like anxiousness. So I've tried, they're all, they've all really been tinctures under the tongue and none of them really worked but I found a brand I love and it is a CBD brand so I hope it's okay that people will let me talk about it but they're pills so they're completely different from a tincture. I had never tried a pill before this one. I think I might have opened this on a meal time. This is almost gone so I'm about to order a new one. This is Good Jane and they have a ton of different things. They have one for sleep that I gave for Brooke. This one's called Hello Mellow and it says for chilling out. Um, they also I haven't tried this yet. This was in my bedside table. They have this like topical stick for PMS relief so like when you're on your period it has a ton of different things in it to help with cramps and aches and sleep and everything that goes wrong when you get your period. This is something that I've been using maybe five days a week. Basically Monday through Friday whenever I'm working and I'm stressed and it has made a world of a difference. It's not just CBD there's also other things in it. They have a proprietary herbal blend that contains a ton of things but holy basil, lemon balm, and skull cap are some of the things listed. Don't really know the benefits of those things but whatever it is like that plus the CBD, the hemp extract has really really helped and the days I, I've taken it some days that I should be so stressed like I'm trying to fit in so much and normally half of that amount of tasks in a day would like really stress me out and the days that I take just one of these in the morning I'm just as productive but I'm totally I'll see how much I get done I'll try my best it's okay if I don't get it but I think I can do it and it's been it's been life-changing. <laughs> I'll link this company down below because I have really, truly, 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 it's really like made my last three weeks so manageable. It's been great. Good morning, it is Saturday. I kind of stopped vlogging yesterday because I got self-conscious about how boring this vlog might end up being because I am just like hustling to get work done for the next couple weeks. I have riveting plans for today. My plan is to deep clean the house. It is 10.30 in the morning and I've already edited two videos this morning. What, what? One and a half, one I halfway edited last night. But Brooke is golfing and my plan is to deep, deep, deep clean the house and then maybe take a walk with MAX to Blue Bottle and get a matcha in a little bit. I want to end this vlog later today. I wanna to start trying this new little segment that I thought would be fun where at the end of every vlog, I read like two or three comments that were my favorite comments from last week's vlog. Probably just whichever ones I wanna to respond to most or were the funniest. So I thought that'd be really fun to like give you all some shout outs and encourage humor in the comment section cause I love funny comments in the comment section. So I I think I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna get ready for the day and then we will have a very satisfying cleaning montage together. Got ready, I'm wearing um, one of the crew necks from Jigen the Label that I had or upsized and cropped. I figured since the uh, sweet like honey teas have brought a little resurgence to the website that maybe it would be good to um, remind people that these can be cropped too just like those shirts because in there. Super cute. It's cold outside keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and i've gotten you a present that i put under the tree tomorrow it is christmas the first for you and me the snow is falling down and the storm is on its way but as long as you're Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out Well my house feels great but I just had to take a couple puffs of my inhaler because every time I clean, like, it immediately is hard to breathe. I think because I'm just kicking around dust. I don't know how my dust allergies have gotten so bad to the point where it's been triggering asthma. It's so bad. I'm probably, for the sake of my health, 
should hire someone to clean for me, but like that just seems so, no offense if this is you, but it just seems like so out of touch in reality, from reality to not even do your own cleaning. Like I can understand if you are a CEO and a mom and like literally have no time, but I have the time so I can do it. But oh gosh, maybe I should have someone clean my house and I'll leave leave for the day so that the dust is not affecting me so much. But okay, I'm going to last week's vlog. Let's find some comments. I guess we didn't really have a vlog last week because I accidentally posted two vlogs in a row the week before. So let me go to the vlog was a the small business haul mail time vlog was the last vlog that we did. <laughs> this one by Carrie says, take a sip of water every time Mikkel says, oh my word, and you will be fully hydrated. Oh my word. I say that a lot. <laughs> this one by Kristen says, I know that you've mentioned that you aren't a makeup expert, but would love you to do a vlog or get ready with me and show what products you use since your makeup always looks flawless. That's so sweet. I just filmed a get ready with me and that will be out by the time this vlog is out, but I didn't talk through the products at all. <laughs> and last but not least, Lindsay said, don't worry about your nails, sweetie. On camera, it just looks like you had a French manicure. Hope you feel better soon and get some answers. I'm praying for you. That's so sweet. Yeah, my nails keep getting weirder and weirder. I just cut them as short as they can go. This is literally as short as they can go. I was supposed to let them grow out for an appointment where they can take some biopsies, but that appointment is still in about a week. So I figured that they should be able to take some cuttings and stuff by that point if they want to. But yeah, I have my appointment with the specialists on the 9th and I wonder if I got my blood tests back. I'm gonna have to call my new internist on Monday to see if he got all the blood work back that I had done because that's very important for me to take to that appointment and that was now officially. Was that two weeks ago? It was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I hate inhalers. I make me feel so weird. I feel like I got so much content and so much footage, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I love y'all so much. Thank you for hanging out with me, even if it's a boring kind of everyday vlog. Um, I think actually, wait a minute, hold up, pause please. That weekend, we have one more vlog before the end of the year because I'm taking off Christmas and after. So happy second to last vlog of 2020. I love y'all and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye. I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I miss